Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good Sunday and everything is going well with you. I just had a good weekend. I spent some time with my sister, uh, hanging out with her. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Excuse me. Um, just want to, before I start, I want to tell you that you need to go and you need to check out my friend, Sarah Aikenhead's Cast It Into The Fire podcast. She does a phenomenal job in getting content up. She is very consistent in doing it as a creator, which is, um, as a creator, somebody who does publish content and stuff, it's really difficult. And she does it like it's nothing. And she's a phenomenal person. You need to check her out, her um, her podcast. And it ranges from anything from Lord of the Rings to Game of Thrones to Red Wall. Okay? And it, she talks about a lot of different things. Her and um, Bill Ron Miller, they definitely work through that and uh, talk about and discuss uh, things within the fantasy, science fiction, and fantasy community or you know, books and things like that. So definitely check them out. Definitely give them a uh, you know, look over their page, Cast Into the Fire podcast on Spotify and on Facebook. So their link is in the bio, and I will talk a little bit more about them later. So here we are. No, excuse me. We will be going over this, uh, these uh, books are here, and we will be reading from, hmm, I might have lost my place. I think it was like 44 pages last time, so what is this? So we will see, but, okay. So I'm going to start here, like I draw breath. I dream, or I dream of poetry, words, lines without form, like I draw breath. Breathing in words as those course through my veins and the flow out of my pen. Words, I find meaning, but fail when I try to speak them. I lost my courage in trying to speak because my heart can't take the pain, even though that's the price of love, of you know, price of life, desiring to be loved. Now this this poem right here is basically um, it's multiple uh, pro word prompts in this, and it's basically words. This was a word prompt because I had to use it a couple of times in this. And I just, after I did the word prompts, I just created a lot more into the poem, or went on with the poem. This next one's called Wave, uh, called Copper Tone Skin. Waves crash upon a distant shore where you lie. The sandy beach, drinking in the sun, copper tone skin, laced in poster stamps. An imaginary thread, red locks, wash over your shoulders. Like the tides washing away the, your form, tiny bees of perspiration travel along your body, cooling touches from the sun. My memories of that day, gazing into your eyes of an gazing into your eyes of an angel, basking in the sunlight, grains of sand clinging to your body, concealing hidden parts, letting my mind wander wild as streaks of water tease me as it reveals pieces of you. So this this is basically a word prompt, with copper toned uh, skin, red locks, and uh, cooling touches, and uh, basking in sunlight. Those are the word prompts that because this whole thing is just one big uh, uh, poem created from uh, from those prompts. So, this next poem is called One Day We're Falling. How do we get this way? One day we're falling in love, then time passes and you find yourself in the arms of a stranger. How did this come to pass? It seemed like we were so much more than a one night stand, but here we are. Once we were lovers, now we're nothing. 
things don't click like they used to between us. All the divisiveness being conceded and letting the ragged edges to sever our heartstrings. I go to bed questioning everything I once knew about you. We used to be we used to love each other. What went wrong? What went wrong? All the simple things I loved about you now annoy me and drives us apart like a wedge, banging away at our faults at the end of the day. I find myself here in the arms of a stranger. And this is basically, um, I saw this movie uh, with the you know, enemy within, not enemy within, or sleeping with the sleeping with the uh, stranger or sleeping, it, it's or sleeping with the enemy. And basically, um, you look at how some relationships at over as they go over time, you you start to see that you're a the person that you married or you entered that relationship was is not the same person they was years down the road and you you want to be in a relationship where somebody change with a where a woman or the person changes and they evolve and you evolve with them you know and and finding the pieces when you in yourself to help you to become somebody better or in that like but a lot of times we lose that connection so that person becomes a stranger instead of somebody you once knew because now the the person that is there is a different person than you knew before and you lose that um, camaraderie there the delicate truth perhaps we've been better than a slow death for watching you walking away with my heart Johnny in your wake and enduring the pain delicate steps a dancer's motion slow like a leaf floating across the floor she slides heel to toe balancing between twirls as she comes to rest guiding my arms and sorry that's two different poems the other one was a dis uh, delicate truth was based on the, the poem before about the uh, um, the same great relationship. And the other one is um, basic thoughts about a dancer and how they flow across the floor. <clears throat> this next poem is called Empty Vows. Empty promises, empty vows, white lies, and golden truths. It's followed by the games we play when the truth goes much further if you like her and a lot of times you have to have the truth you have to tell the truth in relationships and, and doing things and because you know you need you need that honesty and hopefully that people will be honest with each other and working out their feelings and working out their thoughts in a matter to where either you become friends or you become nothing this next one is called syllabar, syllable and choruses I hung on your ever word Syllable and courses when you spoke because every line awakened the child hidden in me. Someone wanted to play and gleefully my heart sprung to life as it rode the roller coaster before it before it, dro it dove into your eyes, swimming in your blue iris. The closer I drew into you, your voice hesitated and I found myself asking that there was someone else while fighting to pull my heartstrings in the hopes of rescuing my drowning heart. Before it is lost forever, kicking and screaming, I wrestle my heart and cradle it like a child who doesn't understand why it plays alone. And in the Issa here is basically uh, it's based off the the picture of the two. Um, there's like two people sitting uh, back to back. Uh, a man and a woman, and inside of them, there are um, two children who are touching each other through through the uh, uh, because the you know, the kid still realizes and still clings to the love or that, that they had or, or the, you know the, the playmate that they had or. So that's 
just and how it, it I was trying to capture that moment of seeing that for the first time and because that's when I wrote this poem that was what I was thinking about this next one's called for all I do am I meant for something more than being passed over in life for all I do I'm still being left in the dust no matter how much I fight what do I have to do sometimes I wish I could wipe it all away and start over again Leaving all them in the destruction of my wake, alas, is worth it to try. Because they don't know the depths of my pain. And once I'm gone, they will not remember, remember me, nor will they care. And this is basically talking about relationships, former, you know, past jobs, um, um, friendships, loves, things like that. It's like it doesn't really matter who you are as a person because people don't really care people don't really um, the people who do care will know you and want to respect you and love you and embrace you people that don't really give a crap about you you know they won't remember when you've gone whether you die or whether you walk away or whatever or, or um, you know they won't remember you because you know why should they they don't they have no connection to you as a person and they don't see you as a person and what inspired this poem was um, a guy died that I knew that I used to work with and they replaced him like it was nothing the next day somebody else is there in his place kind of find out a couple days later he died in his sleep so it's just basically how it is so this next poem is called A Fool's Paradise Maybe I'm just unworthy of love, and all these lines of spoken words are meaningless for someone like me. Love is a fool's paradise, and I'm standing on the beach watching the waves crash upon the shore. When all I ever wanted to see were the world through divine eyes, one made of blue spear or blue sapphires with traces of golden flakes. A timeless beauty whose elegant form was etched into my memories as I rode the waves of heavenly kisses. Where I was lost in the stardust of you, in a moment I grasped all of my might to hold on to you before you faded from my fingertips. I guess I long for loving for love till forever dies in the stars. And this poem is basically about a girl that I, you know, just, just the remnants of, you know, having feelings for her and everything. Because, you know, you, you, you want something more in being in that relationship, but it fizzled out. It didn't even get off the ground. So you had, so in a way, you had to let it go. So this one's right here called Fine Wine. Sit me slow like a fine wine, she said. So every breath I took her until I was under her spell locked into her eyes and in the throes of passion it's a bliss she said riding her tugging on her hair lace between my fingers with just a summer affair drifting between the sheets until I drain her cup dry and basically this poem is about uh, the situation I had where you know, she uh, it was you know, one time thing where we ended up being together, but you know, you kick away those moments of being with somebody and wanting something more than wasn't there. So we will leave it there, and we really don't have too many pages to go. I just think for some reason I have. So I might need to go back and look at the uh, page, you know, look and find out and try to catch up or whatever. But anyway, um, again, check out my friend uh, Sarah Aikenhead and her Cast Into the Fire podcast. Her Bill on Uh Check out my friend Jenna Jinx over on uh, Jenna Jinx Portraits on Instagram. If you're looking to do something wonderful, Mother's Day is coming up. Also, if you're looking for somebody to get you a po uh, to do a commission a poem, uh, definitely you know DM me for that. 
I can try and do something for you probably um, within reason uh, check out my friend Dwight Kirk's uh, simulated football games over on YouTube or baseball basketball or on Facebook his thing his links in the bio or in the thing check out my books and I will be publishing my new children's book um, hopefully by May 15th of uh, next month uh, it's called Life of Penguins and it should be out by then hopefully I'm just waiting for the uh, illustrator to get done with the things there is a link I will uh, share it uh, again to where you can go and uh, pre-order the uh, ebook so definitely until next time next Sunday I will see you then you have a good day and take care